Hey guys, it's Ben, back for your, or not back for, but here for your very first Java coding tutorial. Now I hope you're as excited about this as I am, because you've had no idea it's happening, and you saw it on your thing, and you're like, yes, Java. Yeah, of course you did. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm here to teach you about the wonderful language of Java, which I basically know this in C++ and a bit of HTML, but, uh, yeah. So... We're going to have to install a few things, if you haven't already, for my blocky tutorials. You want to go to Eclipse. Oh, no, we don't. We want to type in to Google Java JDK. Then go to Java SC Downloads, it's the first one there, and press the download for the JDK. Uh, you press Accept License Agreement, and then any one of these which is matching to your operating system. I don't want to download Solaris. I don't even know what Solaris is. So, once we've downloaded that, that means we have... We can... um understand that our computer recognizes the Java language. We can go to eclipse.org, go to downloads, obviously, and download just Eclipse Classic or I don't know, I for Java developers, that would seem logical. Now just click click this one here, Eclipse Classic. So when you've done that, we're gonna open up Eclipse. Boom. Uh, it's gonna say something about workspaces. Now you can just select an area to work in. I'm just gonna use my default area because I'll get confused otherwise about where things are. So um, you can press go to workbench and it'll bring you to this page. Say you accidentally close this, you can just press this button down here and open project or uh, package explorer, just like that. So now go file, new, Java project because we're making a Java project. So what we do is in the project name, we're going to call this uh, Ben. So or whatever you want to call it. Now, what this is is a Java project. It holds it. It's the setup. It's the main setup for a Java project. Now, what JRE system library is is everything we can use and import from Java. So, what we can do now is make a new class. You can do that by pressing that button I just pressed, or do file new class, and let's call this Ben. So we've got Ben. Now, what this public means is that any other class can access this class here. So Say we wanted to hold other information in another class, but we needed to access this class to get more information. We'd have to make this class public so that other classes could recognize that this class is actually real. Class, that means it's a class, it's a .java class, and then Ben is the name of our package. So it's, it's a class which is accessible by all other classes called Ben. Now, what we want to do is we want to do, again, public static void main string args uh, but s string as a capital s now i'll explain this in a second this means this is stating that this is our main class this is the class it's going to look in to find all the other references so it's public it's open it's static it's going to stay like this it doesn't return anything a void so if we say we put something like int it would return an int, but that's not how you state the main class. Main, it scrolls down, it goes, is this a main, is this a main? It, as soon as it finds the main, it's like, oh, this is the main. I'm going to look in here. not going to look in any other classes now. Uh, string args, it's just um, the arguments. or I'm not really sure, if I'm honest. Um, but that's that's the setup for how you create a new class. That's public, static, void, main, string args. Uh, but oh, I've done that in the wrong place. Args, it's actually there. After string. Okay, so what you do is the easiest thing possible that I could ever teach you is how to print things out to the system. Now, to do that is to do system dot out dot print ln, standing for print line. Now, inside these brackets that we've made, these are called... Um, parentheses and inside them we need to put what it wants to print out so in Java you have to do quotation marks and then inside them you can type whatever you want and it will print that out now if we didn't put parentheses and we typed something it would give us an error now, that's because that has not been made so say we made um, an integer now an integer is a whole number which contains no decimals and we called it Ben right and that is going to be equal to a number, right? So we've made that number equal to 5. So we've got a new integer, and we're going to name it Ben. 
and that's going to be equal to 5, okay? We could then print out Ben, as that has been declared, and it is equal to something, okay? Instead of int, if you wanted uh, decimals, we could do double Ben. So, that's just a little bit of information. But first of all, we're just going to put uh, the speech marks and type hi. Uh, uh, hi, I'm learning Java from Ben. There we go. And then if we press this run button up here, what it does is down in the console area, it goes, Hi, I'm learning Java from Ben. Just like that. So that is probably the easiest thing I can teach you, first off. So, you're now wondering, so, oh, I can print out numbers, but how would I print out um, a message that I'd already declared but didn't have to type it out? I bet that's what you were wondering. Now, this is um, this is called a string, and a string is... A, a field of, of it's a sentence basically it's one of it's whatever's inside of the you can only have two of them you can only have two speech marks and it's whatever is inside of the speech marks I'll explain it so if you do string and then name the string Ben it's equal to whatever is inside of these speech marks here so inside these speech marks we would put say hi I'm le learning Java from Ben and then you could print out Ben, right? And because Ben is equal to this, and it's a string, and a string means that it's um, whatever is inside the speech marks, it is going to work out whatever is inside of them, and it's going to assign them, assign them to this variable called Ben, which is the type string. So we can then print out Ben, which is a string which contains this. So let's do that and it goes hi I'm learning Java and you can add some ridiculous thing there and it's art uh, see all like that just like that down there so that is all I've got for this first tutorial remember to uh, keep on watching and to remember to, to keep on watching and subscribing give us ideas for future tutorials and goodbye.